Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm trying to be a little bit quieter in <laughs> my intros, I guess overall my videos because I'll watch them back and it's like, hey guys, welcome to today's video. I swear I'm not screaming. That's just my natural voice. So I was not expecting to film today at all. Today's Saturday because my stitch fix was not supposed to arrive until Monday. And then I was just kind of like creeping around downstairs, taking care of some things. And I happened to look out the door and I saw the FedEx truck and I was like, hmm. <laughs> and there my package was sitting on my front stoop. Uh, so thank you so much to FedEx for supporting my addiction. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel, I am a Stitch Fix stylist and I also style my own fixes. I've been getting them about like once every month. I might bump up to once every two weeks. I don't know, I'm trying to control myself. It's very hard. So if you're not familiar with the service, I think most of you are, but just to run through it real quickly, it's a clothing subscription service that's highly personalized. So you sign up, you pay a $20 styling fee, and then a stylist such as myself curates a box of five items for you, clothing, accessories, shoes if you want them, and then that is shipped out to you. You get three days to try everything on. What you love, you keep. What you don't love, you send back in a prepaid envelope. And what's really nice is whatever you do keep, that $20 styling fee that you paid is deducted from the total purchase amount of what you're keeping. Now, as I said in the last one, I have a referral code, um, which I will link down below. And if you're new to Stitch Fix and you wanna try it out, if you use my code, you will get $25 towards your first fix. I'll also get a kickback of $25. Um, and to be honest with you, anybody that signs up for Stitch Fix gets a referral code. So if you are already receiving Stitch Fixes, make sure you are blasting out that referral code to everybody that you know, because if they use it to sign up, you get a $25 credit to use on a future Stitch Fix of your own. I'm gonna stop blabbing. We're just gonna dive right into my box. Now, as usual, I did open the box. I just looked, because <laughs> I always have to look and like touch. I always have to look and touch. Like, that's just how it is. But again, you know, like total shout out to the people in our warehouse who just do a spectacular job of putting together our fixes. They just do such a beautiful job. Look at this. Like I've said it before. I want the people in our warehouse to come to my house and show me how to fold clothes. <laughs> and now you are going to be very proud of me because in previous fixes, literally every fix I styled for myself, I would always seem to include a blue dress and a pair of jeans. This time we have a black jet. <laughs> we have a black dress but I did include a pair of blue jeans because I just, I can't, I can't stop. I want to find a new pair of jeans. It's just, it, I, the quest continues. Now, funny background story with this fix in particular. So when it was time for me to style myself, we literally here in Pittsburgh went from a week of 70 degrees and sunny down to like 45 degrees and freezing. So that was influencing what I wanted to pick out for my fix, which included this super cute knit striped, obviously. I had seen this in the inventory before and I always thought it was cute because just like that striped hoodie I loved from my last fix, I'm all about these little details in the back. I just think it's super cute. It adds a little bit of something to it. You know what I mean? So this feels nice and soft. Um, it is long sleeve, it is lightweight though. So what I was thinking was, you know, like on a colder spring day or even to keep it on hand for fall, for some reason, my closet totally lacks um, knit tops, just casual knit tops, and I wanted something to add to it. Now, nothing earth shattering here, but I just got a bug in my craw recently about having a plain black maxi dress and I had seen this in our inventory. I sent it to a couple clients. Everybody seems to love it. This is, um, this is it. It's just a plain, <laughs> it's a black maxi. Um, but it's got a cute back. Um, so I have uh, something I can wear underneath it, a bra that won't just look plain. Um, and the top is lined, which is nice for added coverage. I don't think the skirt is lined. No, the skirt is, is it lined? Let's see. No, skirt is unlined. So I'm excited about trying this on. I was just thinking of something, you know, I could throw on again with my straw fedora, a cropped jean jacket, be out the door, and this seemed to fit the bill. 
Oh, and I was so excited to see these shorts. I had seen them when styling you guys. And then the last fix, I looked for them. They weren't in stock. This time they were. I love these shorts. I am obsessed with this floral pattern. I think it is darling. I love the little pom-poms, like the little pom-pom detail on the um, leg. And this type of material is just perfect for my body type. I feel a fool when I wear regular shorts. I just, I don't like them on me. I just, no. <laughs> But shorts like this that are like that stretchy, comfortable material, I love. And trying for the 19,000th time to find a new pair of jeans. These are from Mavi, which is a brand I've yet to try. They are high rise, they are skinny, they have a regular leg, so there's no frayed ends, there's no distressing. It's, whoop, it's in the, um, the rinse that I wanted, like that light to medium blue. Um, they are said to be super soft, ultra soft fabric with exceptional stretch and structure. All right, well, here's the thing. Typically what I've found is that most jeans these days have a massive amount of spandex in them, which turns them into like a jegging. I don't want a jegging. I want like a structured jean. Um, this is also, the fabrication is made with tensile, which is cellulosic fibers, which are natural. Um, so it's got a botanic origin and it's also sustainable production, which is cool. So I can't wait to try these on. Oh, and last but not least, I think I'm most excited about trying these on. These literally popped up in our inventory, had not seen them before, and I fell in love. Most of you are probably going to think I'm so weird, but they are these, <laughs> they're a cropped pant but they're also a wide leg, which I was thinking would look so cute with a white tank top. And I have a pair of wedge sandals that I'm gonna try on with these. Super, super cute, just for like a low key summer look. I love the pockets in the front. I think that's a really sweet detail. Um, oh no, are these mid rise? No! I thought these were high rise. Um, okay, that'll be interesting. I normally can't wear a mid rise. They just don't sit well on me, so we will see. But I'm kind of laughing just because I love wide leg pants, but they're usually like more like the material of the shorts I just showed you. And these just look, <laughs> they look huge. They kind of look like clown pants, which I'm, you know, I'm a little bit into. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try everything on. Uh, and before I do that, one thing I wanted to say about this fix, I've been dying to get my hands on a jumpsuit. I am obsessed with jumpsuits this season. I have one that I bought last year, and there is one in particular in our inventory that I literally am drooling over, and it's never in stock when I go to style myself because I keep sending it to you guys. So that is dedication to my job. Here is that, obviously, the yellow striped knit, and it is really comfortable. Um, I love this far more than I thought I would, and just as a sick twist of fate, of course, it's spiked to literally 85 degrees and humid today in Pittsburgh, so the likelihood I'll be wearing this anytime soon is slim to none, but I really, really like it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but that slit, it just adds like a cute little detail. Um, I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. And here are the jeans. I have to say out of all the jeans I've tried, these are by far my favorite. The length is perfect. The fit is comfortable. It's got stretch, but it's not like getting into crazy jegging territory. Uh, we're definitely not there. And I love the rinse too, like especially for spring, summer, you know, like lighter rinse jeans just look so fresh to me. I love, love, love the way that they pop. And then here are the shorts that I love, love, love so much. I love the color story in these. They're so comfortable and this is exactly how I'd wear them. Just throw on like a plain white tank top and my sandals and be out the door. Um, super cute with like a crop jean jacket. 
So yeah, I really love them. And like I said, I love the detailing on the leg. I just think that adds such a cute touch. Now, a piece of advice I'll give you, if you're like me and just are like, eh, on the fence when it comes to wearing shorts, because what you've usually worn has been a jean short, or shorts that are more structured, like a khaki material, if you know what I'm saying, try shorts on that are like these. Now, this, I believe, is a rayon fabrication, but any pair of shorts that just is very breezy, um, has a lot of movement to the fabric, I think that you would really like them. Um, like I said, these have been a game changer for me. I don't typically like wearing shorts, but this type of short I will wear all day long in the summertime. Um, can we just talk about the Peter Brady moment I'm having right now? I am obsessed <laughs> with these pants. I love them. I love them. My only concern is because it's a mid-rise, I should have sized up to a six. These are a four. Um, so I might see if they're available, but I think these are so stinking cute. They're absolutely ridiculous looking and I love them. So this is exactly how I envisioned wearing them. Just like a really cute wedge heel, plain white tank top, and my uh, constant in the summertime, the straw fedora. These are very comfortable. I just think they're fun. I mean, I just, in, in the summertime, my fashion just gets so much fun. Like in the wintertime, it's all about just staying warm. I do not care, put me under 10 layers. But in the summertime, it's like, yeah, anything goes. You're gonna have to excuse me for a second. I'm having a total moment with this dress. <laughs> this is a soulmate dress. I have found the garment that is my soulmate. I love, love, love this maxi. I was hoping this was gonna be my baby out of the bunch. It has not done me wrong, it definitely is. And it's just like such a simple design, but it's so classic. That's what I love about this. Like I can throw this on and jump on an airplane and go traveling. I can grab lunch with friends. I can go out on date night, whatever. Like I will wear this nonstop. I love the little slit. Can you see it? Where's the slit? Where's the slit? There's a slit on the side. There it is. I love the little slit on the side. Um, the bodice does um, blouse a little bit, which I think is super flattering. And in case you're wondering, I do have a bra on underneath. It is a um, really pretty racer back with like lace detailing. And I love how the straps just blend in with the straps of the dress. That to me is perfect. I'm so excited about this. I just realized that literally a week has gone by and I totally forgot <laughs> to film the outro for this video. Duh. Um, ended up keeping that yellow and white striped top. Ironically enough, like the fashion gods were smiling down on me because I had said I was worried about getting it now when it's been super humid and hot. And I bought that top. And two days in a row, it went down to 60 degrees and I wore it both days. I love that top. So I kept that, I kept the shorts, and then I kept, what else did I keep? What did I keep? Oh, the black maxi dress. Oh my gosh, love, 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 love that dress. That's gonna be probably my uniform all summer long. But when it comes to topics, if you are interested in some different things other than unboxings, let me know what you'd like to hear more about. Now, I can't like dive into proprietary information or get into that spiel, but if there's something related to trends or styles or I don't know, leave me a comment below. If I can pull it off, I totally will. But in any event, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!